Let's talk about supplements, but let's really dive into this. Now, this is coming from somebody that has literally spent hundreds of dollars on supplements, and I was that type that firmly believed I needed to buy these supplements month over month over month, right, and waste hundreds and hundreds of dollars only to come find out that they really did not do anything for me at all. So let's break up this whole entire conversation about supplements into some categories to make it easier for you. I'm going to give you guys my recommendations. Now, this is just what I personally seen. This is what the data kind of shows. But at the same time, this is just my personal recommendation, okay? I'm going to break things down for you guys as far as performance supplements, lifestyle supplements, but then also supplements that are just a complete joke and waste of money that you should definitely not buy, okay? And at the very end, I want to give you guys my two cents on how I really feel about supplements. But before we break down into the different categories, let's also understand this, that supplements is at the very top of the pyramid when it comes to fat loss progress. You know, your lifestyle, your nutrition, your macronutrients, hydration, sleep, your training, your needs, non-exercise activity, thermogenesis, all of this has a bigger role into fat loss than just taking supplements. You know, supplements do very, very little. And in fact, I always encourage our members and say, you know, hey, if you can get all of the supplements in through whole foods, do that. That is way more natural. That's way more beneficial. And you're probably going to see even better results. But at the same time, like I understand, you know, this is coming from somebody that lives off protein powder and protein bars half the time that supplements are there for convenience as well. So that's why I want to break things up into different categories. Once again, performance, lifestyle, and just a waste of money, okay? Let's talk about performance first, okay? Uh, number one on the list, creatine. Creatine, there is uh, HCL and then monohydrate. I take creatine monohydrate. It is the number one like most researched supplement in the world, okay? It is a great supplement to take. And here's the facts though, right? One, it's not like you're gonna take it and instantly feel different at all, right? Don't worry about that. It, and what it does in the body is just, it helps you out with better you know, ATP function, having more energy, being more explosive. So if you're not somebody that's in the gym, you know, that's lifting weights, I wouldn't even worry about taking creatine. But if you are somebody, then hey, it will be beneficial for you to take that supplement. Um, I don't recommend creatine loading. I say anywhere from just, you know, three to five grams, you know, after your workout or any time of the day, honestly, it doesn't matter about like if it's post-workout, before workout, or a few hours afterwards, it doesn't matter at all. Just make sure that, you know, on your training days, you're having anywhere from three to five grams of creatine, okay? Now, second on the list is going to be pre-workout. And once again, this is coming from somebody, right? This is my recommendation to you. I don't even take pre-workout, but why is it second up on the list? Well, you need to understand what a pre-workout is, okay? A pre-workout could be a supplement that you buy, or it could be coffee, right? Just uh, regular coffee. And this is my form of pre-workout. Why do I take it? Well, it, it has caffeine in it, okay? So maybe I should have replaced caffeine with, you know, uh, pre-workout in there instead, but it doesn't matter too much because sometimes, right, people get that placebo effect where they buy a pre-workout and they instantly think, oh man, because the, the beta alanine, right, the citrulline melee, it makes your body feel a little bit tingly, maybe the niacin in there also. It makes you feel better in a sense of like, okay, hey, I'm going to go crush this workout and it's a great placebo effect. So it's gonna help with just more, you know, brain cognitive function, be more focused, alert on that set workout. That's why I have pre-workout in there. But at the same time, understand that whatever best suits you to help you, you know, uh, be more focused, alert in the gym, wide awake for that set workout, take it. Maybe that's an energy drink. Maybe that's pre-workout. Maybe that's just a cup of black coffee. That's what I typically take is a cup of black coffee because pre-workouts, the beta alanine that's inside of it, it actually like hurts my stomach a lot. So I typically don't have that form of supplement. But here's the thing, the caffeine that I take, I need this, right? The black coffee, I need this. It is my pre-workout because it's going to help me be more alert, 
be more focused for that, you know, intensive training and, you know, have more energy, plain and simple. Now, uh, third up on the list for, you know, performance supplements is protein powder. And uh, the list goes on and on and on about all the benefits when it comes to having more protein in your diets, in your nutrition plan. Uh, specifically, though, protein powder, um, I like it because of convenience, right? I get, you know, Chips Ahoy, uh, you know, ghost protein. I think it tastes absolutely phenomenal. It's a blend of, you know, concentrate, isolate, a little bit of casein in there as well. Um, I'll talk about that here in a second. But I like it because of convenience. You know, I can I put a scoop of it into my coffee and make protein coffee. I can put a scoop of it into, you know, my cereal and have protein cereal or a scoop of it into, you know, Greek yogurt and mix that up for a nice, you know, healthy dessert or even put it in my oatmeal. So I like it for a form of convenience to help me get more, you know, protein into my, my daily diet, plain and simple. Uh, but at the same time, it does help We just think about it. If you're working out, you're in the gym, you're, you're slaying the weights, you're breaking down the muscles. That's what you're doing when you're working out. And so the protein is going to help your body recover more. It's going to help your body rebuild, right? And, and formulate, you know, leaner, stronger, uh, more durable muscle, right? And it's going to help speed up your metabolism and enhance burn more body fat. Now, when it comes to the world of protein, obviously there's so many different benefits, but there are different kinds, right? You have your concentrates, you have your isolates, you have your caseins. And I always say like this is just like concentrate is a, a just your, your regular whey protein, you know, and then isolate is just another filter out process of protein powder itself, where um, if you're somebody like myself that is lactose intolerant, you probably won't have any, you know, digestion issues taking isolate proteins. And then you have casein protein that's a slower digestion. Um, personally, I don't recommend anybody take casein protein, but hey, we are talking about protein powder, so we might as well talk about everything that comes into play when it comes to the different styles of protein that's out there in formulas. Um, there's also plant-based proteins that you can find as well. So you don't need something that's going to be, you know, chemically processed or anything like that. You can find something that's going to be more, you know, plant-based as well. Now, next up, right? Uh, that was your, your rundown of the performance supplements, right? Creatine, pre-workout, protein powder. Uh, once again, there's probably a bunch of others that could be added to the list, but I want to make it simple for you guys. Just, you know, my top three. Uh, let's go to lifestyle next. Uh, number one on the list, magnesium. I feel like there's so many benefits, um, especially if you're male, taking magnesium. You know, it helps you out with just uh, better sleeping aid, um, heart health, uh, blood pressure regulation. The list goes on and on and on. Um, it's not expensive at all, too. It's, it's very convenient to get. So, I recommend, you know, to everybody get, you know, magnesium. Uh, second up is fish oil. I'm a big, big believer in fish oil. Um, I also don't eat a lot of fats in my diet, right? I follow, you know, higher protein, higher to moderate carbohydrate diet, lower fat. It just works best for me. And so I make sure that I'm getting in plenty of fish oil, omega-3s, because one, I know there's so many health benefits to them, like, you know, a healthy heart and how it's out with, you know, your joints and inflammation bone health, even, you know, your, your eye health. Um, but at the same time, your body does need fats. It's essential. So I do use supplements, right, for, you know, fats. So like fish oil, omega-3s, um, you know, you can find krill oil, salmon oil. Do your own research on them, right? They all have different form of benefits. But to summarize this, fish oil or omega-3s, right, is number two on the list when it comes to lifestyle supplements. And then lastly, multivitamins. So a multivitamin is compressed of so many different, you know, uh, minerals and vitamins into one. Now, I will say this, okay, there are certain, you know, multivitamins that are not effective at all. <laughs> you know, if you look on the back, you're going to see it has like 300% this, 250% this. One, your body doesn't really absorb all that. Uh, you end up just, you know, like, you know, not even using it. Um, so if you can get a multivitamin that you have done plenty of research on, okay, because I don't want to get any recommendations or, you know, sell you guys on anything, right? Just do your own research, look it up, the brands. Um, you can also find ones where in a form of, let's just say, like you can drink, you know, a healthy greens powder and get basically all the vitamins and minerals in through there. And that's actually more um, absorbable, you know, you know, a better digestion rate by drinking it rather than just consuming it in that hard little capsule 
that it has a hard time being digest and absorbed throughout the body anyways. But it nonetheless, it's still great to take. I think also that, you know, when taking a multivitamin, you should keep in mind that like with most of these supplements, it, it, it does play a great role into just like having a part of a routine. And maybe that routine could be completely like a placebo effect where it's like, hey, I know I'm taking a multivitamin, so I'm healthy, right? And it's just like, you, you, you might not be even absorbing all of the vitamins and minerals inside of that multivitamin, but still that placebo effect kind of helps you out, right? As far as just like, like you're thinking about, hey, more health conscious now. So uh, you just got to take it with a grain of salt, but do your own research on all these supplements that I recommend. So for lifestyle supplements, hey, magnesium, fish oil, and obviously like a multivitamin or like a greens, you know, um, drink that you can simply consume you know now the waste of money supplements and i talk about this often and i will continue to talk about this these three supplements right here stop wasting your money on number one test boosters okay it, you cannot increase your testosterone through buying a little pill right off amazon or you know the drugstore anything like that sure there might be like you know, uh, Tangat Ali inside of it, or, you know, horny goat wheat, or these different ingredients that does typically help out with more testosterone, you know, um, increases. But you got to understand this too, okay? One, with all of these supplements that I'm recommending, right, and, and encouraging you guys to do your own research on, understand this, your body's a machine, it's always going to change and adapt, you know? So like, as you're taking something, you're going to build up more immunity to that. So if you're, you know, taking testosterone boosters and let's just say they happen to work in the very beginning, right? Hey, after a few short weeks, all of a sudden you're going to build up that immunity and now you have to increase the dosages. Next thing you know, you're buying $500 worth of test boosters where it's just like, dude, at that point, it just doesn't even make sense anymore, you know? <laughs> so one, stop buying testosterone boosters. If you want to know the best way to actually increase your testosterone, it's by burning body fat. And you can do that by just having a healthy um, lifestyle, right? Be active, uh, recover, plenty of sleep, right? And then obviously your nutrition, all that plays a big factor. When you can burn your body fat down and, you know, get any 20% body fat, hey, you will see your testosterone levels skyrocket. I promise you that. Second up on the list on supplements, do not buy fat burners, okay? I completely think that this is one of the biggest scams out there. Um, I think that people think also like, man, instead of me going to the gym or working out or being active or eating healthy, I can just take a fat burner and that's going to just, you know, help out in the, the best sense ever, right? With losing weight doesn't work like that at all. Sure. You might find some traces of caffeine or green tea extract, right? That has a little bit of results when it comes to the thermogenic side of, you know, um, increasing energy within the body. But at the same time, like, don't make this that, oh, I need to buy this, I need to buy this, I need to buy this, and be suckered into wasting hundreds of dollars on fat burners that do very, very little. In fact, I don't think they do anything at all, personally. But hey, do your own research, okay? And lastly, on the supplements do not buy is BCAAs, right? Branch chain amino acids, okay? Um, your body, all of these, right, your body basically produces on its own, except for uh, leucine. Okay, so if you want to take something that's going to help you out, right, in a form of, you know, a, a, I personally think that BCAAs is nothing more than just a flavor enhancer for your drink. Personally, um, it is a, a expensive flavor enhancer. Just go buy a Mio for like, you know, two bucks at the grocery store instead. But nonetheless, um, L-leucine, you know, you can get that whole protein synthesis effect. And that's where leucine comes in a handy. You can get that from training. You can get that from eating more protein. You can also get that uh, from taking EAAs, essential amino acids, instead of BCAAs. But once again, hey, do your own research on all of this. Now, I will say this. There are some honorable mentions when it comes to supplements that I did not recommend. So let's at least add them to the list. Uh, number one, I would say, you know, ashwagandha. Ashwagandha or you know holy basil, these supplements are great for just helping you lower your cortisol levels down. So if you're somebody that's underneath a lot of stress, ashwagandha is going to be a great tool. It takes typically your body about two weeks of you know consuming that supplement for it to finally have its effects, but it will help you just lower down your cortisol levels. 
Do you need to take that? Absolutely not. You can do other things that's more like holistic, uh, like talking, venting it out, or meditation, different things like that to help lower cortisol levels. That's always helpful. Um, Sleepy time tea, I would say, is added to the list as well. You can buy this on Amazon or at your local you know, grocery store in the tea section. And why is it a great supplement? Well, hey, it's going to help you get more sleep in. You know, so if you're somebody that's struggling with sleep, sleepy time tea will help you out. You know, and once again, sleep is a great tool to help boost testosterone levels, help you burn more body fat because you're recovering properly. Now, do you need to buy sleepy time tea? Absolutely not. You can do a different nighttime routine. Maybe you like turn off the TV or reading a book, something like that that's going to slow down those brain waves and help you get more sleepy. And then lastly, I will say uh, chromium. Chromium is great, especially if you're somebody like me. You know, I have date night with my wife every you know week, and uh, I go out smash, right? Like I, no hold bars, right? I like to eat my food, plain and simple. I'm Italian, and so I want to make sure that I'm taking chromium on those days or those you know right when I get done eating, simply because chromium is going to help my body digest um, and distribute you know all of those calories, the proteins, the carbs, the fats. It's going to really just help out in that aspect. But those are my top three, you know, honorable mentions. Now I will say this, when it comes to supplements, here's my viewpoint. Don't be suckered into fancy marketing, okay? I could take off my shirt, you can see six pack abs, a chiseled chest, right? Because I train very hard and effectively. And somebody can come by and say, hey dude, you look great. Can you just sell this supplements, no matter what it is? Can you just, can you just, you know, take your shirt off, take a photo with it? Hey, and you know what? I'll give you even like a fancy discount code. We can use like Coach Joe 20 and like they can save 20%. Hey, we'll give you that money right back. Think about it, right? Like that's marketing 101. I, I, I don't even need to be taking that supplement and I could sell it, make some money and portray it as a great supplement to take because you see my body, okay? Oh, Joe got abs. Oh, Joe got a chiseled chest and he's telling everybody to take this supplement, right? Like it's marketing 101, okay? Don't get scammed. Don't get fooled into it. Do your own research on all the supplements that you're going to take. Um, look up the ingredient list. Like do your research. That's all I got to say. Don't get fooled into the marketing um, because I'm somebody that wasted hundreds of dollars um, literally getting suckered into all this marketing over and over and over again. So uh, it wasn't until like I finally got certified and learned about nutrition and how it all works in the body and kind of realized here that supplements do very little. And in fact, you can get all of this stuff through just wholesome, healthy foods. And that's always what we make, recommend at Heartletics is that like at the end of the day, use supplements as a, you know, just a little tool that's going to help you move the needle, help you in those aspects when needed, but don't be dependent on them. Don't live on them. So at the end of the day, Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you're not going to go wasting your money on a bunch of bogus supplements that do very little for you anyways.